Hello students, in today's class we are going to cover question number 9 of your EOT and it is talking about the isolated system. Isolated system means the energy remains conserved. Conserved means in should be equals to out or a very simple way to learn total energy is the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy total energy is equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy or there is another form kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial should be equals to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final okay these are the things which we are going to learn today okay let's say we have a question a pendulum swings in a vertical plane okay at the bottom of the swing the kinetic energy is 8 joule and the gravitational potential energy is 12 joule okay these are the values are given at the highest position this is something you need to consider huh highest point at highest point we have two things First thing, height equals to h and the major thing is velocity. What is the velocity at maximum point that is 0? Do you understand? So, at the maximum point, if I am talking about, then your potential energy is mgh. Kinetic energy is equals to 0. Why? Half m velocity square so it will becomes zero okay now what we need to find we need to find the values here so as we know total energy total energy at the bottom is kinetic energy plus potential energy which is 8 joule plus 4 joule which is equals to 12 joule okay total energy at highest point Okay, kinetic energy plus potential energy. So, kinetic energy is zero. We have potential energy. And total energy remains the same. So, 12. So, what should be the potential energy? Potential energy is equals to 12. Clear, guys? So, just check. Kinetic energy 12. No. Kinetic energy 0. Right. Kinetic energy 0. Right. Kinetic energy 4. No. Kinetic energy 8, no. 3 are cancelled. Okay. Check with potential energy. 12. Your answer is C. Clear? Okay. <clears throat> One extra thing I just want to add. Let's say in some parts, they will say kinetic energy is equals to potential energy. Then how to solve the different different values? Let's say uh, they can ask you the mass, they can ask you the height, they can ask you the velocities. So these type of things you should know. Okay, we know kinetic energy half mv square, potential energy mgh. Okay, the first thing is mass is cancelled. Fine. So from here we can find different different things. First, a point, we can find the velocity find velocity okay so find velocity half v square is equals to gh v square is equals to 2gh so v is equals to root 2gh you can directly use this velocity clear okay second thing you can find the height they can ask you for the height also so we know half v square is equals to gh take g this side so g uh, this is something wrong so g v square divided by h uh, divided by 2 which is the value of h clear do you understand so like this you can solve uh, different different value oh sorry 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 my bad huh? g will should go down not up it will go down with this clear h is equals to v square by 2g fine okay 
now we have the next question just focus on this one this is something interesting huh okay a 5 kg ball okay mass is 5 kg fine of clay okay is thrown thrown means initial velocity not equals to zero see if the word is called drop drop fell down all these things so we can understand initial velocity is zero but it is thrown so initial velocity not equals to zero downward with the height okay height is given three meter with a speed okay i told you initial speed so it should be five meter per second on a spring do you remember i told you in the previous uh, videos also whenever you get this word spring you should remember two things one is the force which is negative kx and one is the kinetic energy that is half kx square yes okay spring ah uh, see k is given i told you see okay k is equals to 1600 newton per meter the clay compresses okay compress means uh negative delta y okay the spring a certain maximum amount before momentarily stopping okay after that it will stop okay now first we need to understand the concept let's say uh, there is a certain height okay and let's say here and there is a ball of mass m we throw this with velocity v i okay let's say there is a spring put this value uh, this equals to x equals to zero fine till here understand okay and you have a height so this is your point and you can say that your height is three so this distance is three meters and you have a spring here you can just add a spring okay with the bottom fine once you throw here at this position what will happen it will compressed and now let's say this is the new position yes or no understand so this is the new so can i say what is the change in height change in height is this much so this is your negative delta y clear here tell here clear okay but do you think is this question easy or difficult i told you this is a very 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 easy question you just need to apply two things first what is the total energy here at the top total energy at top so can i say kinetic energy plus potential energy yes or no okay so what is kinetic energy half m v square plus m g h okay put the values so we have let's say divide your question into two parts first only ball only ball second we will take with the spring okay very easy so just solve them put the values half what is the mass multiply five what is the velocity five square plus what is the mass five g is 9.81 and height is height is 3 okay everything is given total energy so solve it total energy is what is the value 209.65 joule till here clear understand okay now once it reach here and it compress a force here then what will happen the total energy remains the same there is no problem but now we have a spring here so in case of spring can i say kinetic energy plus potential energy but for kinetic energy i need to use formula half k x square do you understand sure i told you in case of spring the kinetic energy is half k x square plus potential energy m g okay what is the height now your height is negative so can i say negative delta y fine because it is compressing 
it is compressing fine and your total energy we already find out so 209.65 and what we are looking for we are looking for this compression how much it compress okay how much it compress so uh, even you can just write the same thing okay that is also your compression that is also your compression so you can just put the same values so you can put half k now delta y square because this is the motion done by the body plus m instead of plus i can say minus i'll take the minus m g delta y equals to 209.65 okay now do you observe it becomes an equation kind of thing okay first put the values then we will see so put the value here 209.65 plus half uh, equal equal half what is the k k is given 1600 1600 delta y square minus masses what is the value of mass 5 multiply 9.81 delta y okay so shall we rearrange all the numbers okay just take this value this side so we get 800 delta y square okay minus 49.05 delta y minus 209.65 equals to 0 do you think this becomes a quadratic equation quadratic equation yes or no okay now use your calculator and solve it so you will get two values for delta y one is 0 0.543 and second is delta y is equals to negative 0 0.482 meter okay which one is acceptable this one is acceptable because we already use the negative so it cannot become two times negative so your answer is 0 0.543 meter clear guys so now you understand if there is a spring how to use the formula if something is compressing or something is i uh, means you are just uh, extended them then how to solve them this is very very simple way to solve the question okay guys so i will meet you in the next video till then take care bye and keep on showering your love on my videos by sharing with your friends and you can like them and whatever the if you like them you can put your comments over there okay okay guys take care